just keep coming in. This is Ron Bomber. Bomer. Bomer. Oh. Ron Bomer. So I hear you're like a real actor. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I hear. That's always impressive. Yeah. Legit. Yeah, Legit. you're like you you're like in the union. Yes, sir. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. Yes. All of my unions. You can do <laughs> monologues w- with your eyes closed, basically. You know, I actually have not been asked to do a monologue in ages. Well, I could I'm give you, I could give you, you one right Moliere, now. and that would be all Let I could do. Let me hear it. Whip it. Oh God, let's see. How does it start? See, this is how seldom I do this because I'm. It doesn't I have to start from the beginning because I, I wouldn't generally know. Generally, do musical <laughs> theater. Is oh, like, um, either way. By Jove, when I survey myself, I find no cause whatever for distress of mind. I'm young and rich. I can. In modesty, lay claim to an exalted pedigree, and owing to my name and my condition, I shall not want for honors or position. Then as to courage, that most precious trait, I seem to have it, as was proved of late upon the field of honor, where my bearing, they say, was very cool and rather daring. I've wit, of course, and taste to such perfection that I can judge without the least reflection, and at the theater, which is my delight, can make or break the play on opening night and lead the crowd in hisses or bravos and generally be thought as one who knows. I'm clever, handsome, gracefully polite. My waist is small, my teeth are strong and white. And as these things are so, it seems to me I'm justified in my complacency. Holy shit, you know what? You just made me... Freaking fall in love with Molnaire. <laughs> I never even knew Molnaire. I liked that guy. Molnaire? <laughs> Molière. Molière. <laughs> or Monaire. Molnaire. Whatever. Monaire. Whoever he is. Is that Shakespeare? <laughs> no, it's Molière. Because I usually Molière. hate Shakespeare. Wait a minute. Who is the name Ron, of that I've character? I've never heard that accent before. Who is the name oh, of the character? Nice. That's a uh, cast is his name. I like that man. Where is he? Can I find him? <laughs> <laughs> he sounds like the man of my... Th- that's who I need in my life. A uh, cast? A cast. A no. cast. Is he in frickin' London? He's in France. And he's been dead for centuries. So he's in France, yeah, but, he thinks w- but, he, but he talks with an English accent. Well, I talk with an English accent. <laughs> when you're being <laughs> a <laughs> cast. <laughs> so he's French. Yeah. Interesting. No. Yeah. Wow, I like him. Thank you. Wow, now I let's find out who you here. are. This is awesome. This is, this, well, this is ArismaRadio.com, Arisma Entertainment, who does tons of things, and we're just fortunate to have our little show, Ruin Who, mm-hmm. on Arisma. It is a great setup. I like it, it too. Yeah, very much. Thank you. As you said, my f- I'm calling this my family. Talk about family. Yes. This one here. We've known each other a long time. <laughs> way well, that's nice. my wife long. way longer. Way long, but we're really young. <laughs> well, you are young. Well, well, like so. So is a cast, and he's dead. Yes, that's yeah. true. And he's young <laughs> and sexy and <laughs> everything. Yeah. Like, is he really that good? <laughs> okay. I've, I've lost track of what we're talking about <laughs> now. <laughs> it doesn't matter. You're Miles's family. That's right. Yes. Indeed. And Ron is in Ragtime right now. That's right. In the and how's that? The ragtime. It's closing. That's what Miles <laughs> mentioned. Yeah, we actually uh, just got the news that we're extending by one week. Oh, we had announced good. We had oh announced good. that we were closing uh, this Sunday, but of course, our you know when you tell people that uh, this is it, last chance, they uh, you know they tend to jump on board. Then they so buy the tickets. Oh yeah. so well, it's like you know putting in the alarm after you're robbed. You know, it's yeah, that it's kind of thing. That kind of getting insurance after you're robbed. Mm. You know, but right. we're um, so it's 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 great news for theater goers because it's an amazing show. It really oh, is. incredible show. So really what's your favorite? Who are you in Ragtime? I play father in Ragtime. Ragtime is uh, it is a story that takes place at the uh, the turn of the century, right. um, and is the story of a confluence of events that affect three different families. And the f- uh, the family that I am the father of is the uh, family from New Rochelle. There's another family family from Harlem, and uh, there is a third immigrant family that comes to America from Latvia and passes through Ellis Island. Now, wait, I have a question. Like, it's from the movie Ragtime, right? There is a film of Ragtime, and that's correct. And is that and all about novel. New York, too? Mm-hmm. Yes, it is. So it's from New Rochelle, Harlem, and mm-hmm. Ellis Island? Right, right. It all well, takes so place in right New York. So it's right here. I feel like I'm a bit of Ragtime, ragtime actually. Like, I guess yeah. we all are. Yeah. Well, you're from <laughs> South <laughs> Carolina. I mean, it's everybody's story. I mean, yeah. because we, uh, but yeah, we all came story, from somewhere. Yeah. Very New York story, and everybody, you know, it's it. Uh, the the writer who wrote the book, E.L. Doctor, talks about ragtime is basically the story of America becoming America. It's how the melting pot happened. Now, right. the turn of the century, you're saying, is it the 1800s it's to 1900s? It's uh, 1907-ish. Okay, yeah. so it's about when, like, my elders. Came through Ellis Island. Right, just before. Some World of them War were actually I. born here, but some of them did try, 
trollop through that Ellis yeah. Island. I've never been on Ellis Island. Wow. Oh, it's incredible. I know. It is. Uh, I know. And, and Ragtime is a musical. It has music by I love uh, musicals. Aaron's and Flaherty. And it, uh, if you don't know Aaron's and Flaherty, they Can also you sing a little uh, chorus of like the <laughs> most popular <laughs> song in Ragtime? The most popular song is probably The Wheels, uh, Wheels of a Dream. I see his face. I hear his heartbeat. I look in his eyes, how wise they seem. Well, when he is old enough, I will show him America, and he will ride on the wheels of a dream. Wow, I feel like I'm listening to the radio, like... Light one hour right. more FM or something, you know. It's a beautiful song. It's that is nice. Wow. Do you sing that song in the show? I don't. No. Father sings a song called Journey On, which is a trio um, between he sings that and he sings a song called New Music. And Journey On is a trio. When Father is leaving at the beginning of the story, Father goes off to the North Pole to uh, discover the North Pole with Admiral Perry. The show has all these historical characters mixed into it. Booker T. Washington is in it. Okay. Admiral Perry, who did, in, in fact, discover the North Pole, gets credit for discovering the North Pole. At least in ragtime. Yes, <laughs> in ragtime. Um, Evelyn Nesbitt, who was sort of a Britney Spears of the day. Mm-hmm. Very Yippee! Famous, yeah, you know. Or more of a Paris Hilton, I guess. You know, somebody became infamous for nothing. and then famous <laughs> right, right, yeah, right. Okay. for nothing. And uh, uh, Emma Goldman, who was a big activist at the time. And it's this our story is about how all of those people influence the lives of these fictional characters and push them forward to the changes that come. And you know what's remarkable about the story, why it is so timely, it, it is uh, one of the, the main focuses of the story is the str- struggle of the African-American uh, man, Cole House Walker Jr., who's a piano player in Harlem. And uh, he is basically a huge inju- injustice is done to him. He fights and fights and fights for justice, and he can't get it because at that time, it was just impossible for people to get equal rights. Even in the North, people think, oh, no, that was just the South. No, 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 it was, mm-hmm. it was here, too. And it is ultimately about how he, he's pushed to violence and uh, that how that violence explodes in everybody's lives. And wow. Uh, you know, and here we are in an age where we have uh, our first African-American president. And, you know, in this piece, which is so racially charged, my character has uh, has grown up with bigotry and, and doesn't think anything is wrong with it right. because it's all he knows until, you know, we're all changed when we meet somebody that that embodies the qualities that we've been afraid of and we suddenly realize you're just you're just like me, you're just a real person. You have the same struggles, you have the same challenges and uh, and that is ultimately what happens with my character and his his contact with Cole House Walker with the African American family. Are you going to miss the show? It sounds like you're very I connected. will miss it. It's I I I'll, b- I'll be honest with you, it's difficult playing father because as I mentioned he's a bigot and he is not everybody's right. favorite character it's really in the acting. show. Mm. But his journey in terms of what this piece has to say I think is one of the most important uh, pieces of, of, um, of plot point of, th- mm-hmm. of the How long has the, the show, show been running? We opened uh, we f- started performances in October okay. opened in November. So Major as short. Broadway goes it's a horrifically short run. Right but you know what there are a lot worse.